Hi Canon Follow fans, it's Raz coming from another beautiful day in Cardiff and yeah, I'm going to do the fans uh, comment at this moment in time because Alex has been doing sterling work. We've got Colin doing um, the voice of reason, voice of reason at seven o'clock on Wednesday and it's time that I start showing up as well. So one, many apologies from before, it has been a lot down to work and um, what we're going to do now, we're going to go into the fans comments. Um, through the, the last um, match that we had, which was Bait Borislov. Yes, um, this is the thing. We seem to be coming out from our winter slumber into our spring. And there's a change of atmosphere, a change of um, of mood. But when it comes to being an Arsenal fan, <laughs> I have to say, it is really, really challenging. Um, not only are the top four doing what the top four normally do at this time of year. They're banging out results, especially them down the road. Um, but we seem to be slow, stop, side to side, a bit of a progression and then back again. And what I have to say is that we have to start being a bit more patient and less fractious. Um, as an Arsenal fan, it's not good to see the fact that there's been a lot of infighting again. It almost goes back to how things were a couple of seasons back. It's time for us to start just taking a step back and looking at the way things are really at this moment in time. We're going through a transitional period. It's always going to be challenging enough. And I understand that when it comes to results, because we are results-driven um, sport. Things are not going to go our way, whether it's defensively, whether it's midfield, whether it's attack. But first and foremost, we have to start believing in the fact that we do have a good team. And yes, we need lots of improvement. And yes, we need a chairman who cares as well. And this chairman, obviously, he doesn't really care because he's treating us as a cash cow. Um, it comes to investment. He wants us to be self-sustainable. And at the same time, self-sustainable needs investment. I'm not a businessman. I don't own billions of pounds or whatever. If I did, uh, yeah, Arsenal would be definitely be in my in my to-do list. But um, it's it's not where we want to be at this moment in time. We are a club going through a transition. And another thing I need to say as well to to all our other Arsenal fans who are very critical critical of the way that the youngsters are playing. They are youngsters. They are they need leadership, but they also need confidence. And to get into the first team, it's not like it would have been maybe 15 or 20 years ago when it was very hard to break a youngster into the into the first team. The, we need these youngsters now to start performing because investment wise we're not getting the investment to get maybe one or two top line players. It, that's just the way it is. The situation with Ozil is not um, is not a positive or conducive um, situation for anyone to be in. But the the previous regime had put us in that position. And Emery, whether he agrees with it or not, we have to start playing Ozil. Ozil is not consistent. He's not the the grab the game by the scruff of the neck kind of player, but he is skillful, and he is creative. And what you do with skillful and creative people, you have to nurture them and you have to put them in an environment that they thrive on. And I remember hearing someone say that um, when Ozil is playing in a great team, he's a good player. And when he plays for a mediocre team, he doesn't show up and he's not showing up because maybe he feels the, team's not me the team is mediocre. It's not good, but it has to be addressed. That's the elephant in the room. So we have to back our youngsters, we have to back the team, we have to stop all this nonsense infighting and Emery. Emery is coming into a club that for the last 20 odd years, all the nonsense that's been going on has come to the forefront now and he has to deal with it. And yeah, we, we're going to miss people like um, Miss Lynn Tapp and those who can see... Um, 
creative players that we need for the team. But us as fans, the only thing we can do is comment. We can support. Yeah, okay, we can. We we have our own opinions, but we have to, you know, beg to differ, agree to disagree. You know, that's the mature way of doing things. But just lambasting youngsters is not going to give them any confidence. If anything, they probably would be the next set of youngsters who will leave the club and probably thrive better elsewhere. And we don't want that. We are a club in transition. So let's just take a step back. We know what the, where the deficiencies are in the team. Is um, is um, is Cronky going to like watch this video? <laughs> <laughs> he's probably watching so many videos he's probably you know he, if he if he was watching the video i'm pretty certain s somewhere along the line something has to happen and he would have done something by now but hey you know it is what it is okay so that's my mini rant i'm sorry if i went on a little bit so yeah um so mondays we do the the fans comment uh wednesdays we've got colin who does um, the Voice of Reason on a Wednesday at 7 o'clock. And um, we we do the backups as well. We have the easy talks. Um, I'm not sure exactly when that will be back in line because Alex has been doing sterling work, I have to say. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read a couple of the comments that we had um, post-match after Bait Boislav. Um, one is from DJ Fury. Yes, brother. Long time no see and no hear. Sorry, my bad. But thanks very much for your comment. You did say that I did a good video, so I appreciate the love. Um, you feel like we're going to turn it around on Wednesday. I'm sorry, not Wednesday. We turn it around on Thursday. Um, yeah, now it's become a must-win result. And you know what Arsenal's like with must-win results. We always seem to put ourselves under the cosh. Sometimes it works out to, to, um, to our betterment. And other times, well, let's just... Stay on the course of positivity, shall we? So, um, DJ Fury believes that we're going to do it on Thursday. The next person, um, sorry if my pronunciation is not correct, um, is Arunava Ghosh. Um, he says it's self-inflicted. It's just what leads to my my question. Does Emery have to fall back in and support of the locker room? Or is it just negative imagination? Well, I have to say that, as I mentioned before, it's the, the, um, the elephant in the room. Ozil is definitely playing a, a part. If he's posting on, on Twitter that he's fit to play and the manager doesn't feel that he's fit to play, there lies the conflict. Um, if you've got a creative player who um, is creative but not willing to dig in, then it's like like playing with 10 men anyway. So what does Emery do? Um, play him or not play him? We're paying them 350 grand a week. I say we've got to stick him in until he gets injured, God forbid, or whatever kind of lazy tends to have. Um, we've got to play him. Simple as that. We're losing Ramsey. And good luck to Ram Aaron Ramsey, uh, by the way. You know, he's going to Juventus. And I feel like you're going to see the real Aaron Ramsey because he's going to be playing in a really good um, team as well. And we've got um, Ronaldo playing also. It only, you know, begs the, the question, you know, what they're going to do next. So, yeah, I believe that um, it's not negative imagination. It's it's pretty much a, a real situation that's going on there. The next um, comment is from um, Arsenal TV. I believe that's that's Richard. Hi, Richard. Um, you believe... Uh, he said, welcome back, mate. Many thanks. Much appreciated. In terms of the game, um, absolute no excuses. Poor performance. It was a BS performance from the team. The passes was not on point, and our crosses also was poor. But I think we can change it around in the second leg. Well, we have to. We have to, Richard. We have to turn around in the second leg because if we don't turn around in the second leg, the two routes that lead to the top four is winning um, the Europa and being in the top four. And so far, we're outside of the top four. We can't keep on relying on other teams messing up we have to start doing what we've got to do so yeah i believe that um top four is is within reach but we have to be masters of our own destiny we have to you know do it for ourselves we can't rely on anybody else we didn't rely on anybody else you know 15 years ago so why should we rely on people now 
Okay, so those are the, the three um, comments. Much love to you guys. I can't wait to catch up with you guys on Easy Talk and other uh, fans' comment. Don't forget, on Wednesday, we have The Voice of Reason with uh, Colin at 7 o'clock on Wednesdays. We have the fans' comment on Mondays as well. And we'll keep up with our beloved Arsenal. So, what more can I say? It's been a roller coaster this season and who knows who knows where we're going to end up hopefully top four hopefully with a trophy maybe with both that's me being optimistic but that's what you've got to do at times like this you've got to be optimistic with your team we are the arsenal after all okay this is raz signing off and i'll see you guys on the next video